G'day kids, thanks for tuning in to another Aussie episode. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that way you won't miss out on any of the new videos we put out and it would certainly make my day. In the meantime, enjoy this video. Aussie, 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 oi. Aussie is a friend of yours and he's a friend of mine. Hey kids, Ozzy here. Today we've come along to a very special place and we're going to learn about a very special day. We're right here in Canberra, which is the capital of Australia, and we're going to learn all about Anzac Day. Now this is the Australian War Memorial and it's Australia's national memorial to the members of our armed forces. Now Anzac Day is a national day of remembrance for all Australians and New Zealanders that served and died in all wars and conflicts and peacekeeping operations. It happens on April 25th every year and is a day of remembrance and celebration for all Aussies and Kiwis. First, we're going to learn more about Anzac Day and why it is such an important day. And we're going to learn about Simpson and his donkey, which is an incredible story from Gallipoli, and that is where the Anzac legend was born. But before we do, let's learn a little bit more about the origins of Anzac Day. Anzac Day is a very important occasion every year for Australia and New Zealand as it's a day to remember those who fought and served for our countries in wars. Anzac Day happens on April 25th and marks the anniversary of the landing of our soldiers in Gallipoli in 1915. They landed in a place now known as Anzac Cove, and this was the first military action participated in by Australia and New Zealand armed forces during World War I. The word Anzac actually stands for Australian and New Zealand Army Corps and it was during this time in Gallipoli that the Anzac legend was born. Although there was no military victory, the Anzacs displayed great courage, endurance, initiative, discipline, and mateship, and these qualities came to be seen as the Anzac spirit. The battle lasted eight months, and it's estimated that 8,709 soldiers from Australia and 2,721 soldiers from New Zealand died during this time. The troops fought very hard to keep our country safe, and that is why we live in such a peaceful place today, and why we need to pause and remember our Anzacs on this very important day. Anzac Day is marked by a dawn service, usually held early in the morning at dawn, which means just as the sun is coming up. Every year people march and come together usually at a cenotaph, which is the name given to a monument remembering those who served. Service medals are worn by returned soldiers or their families, and rosemary and poppy flowers are also worn as symbols of remembrance. The laying of wreaths or flowers on graves commemorate those who paid the ultimate price in war. As part of the dawn service, speeches and poems are also read to commemorate this day. Among them is the ode, which comes from the fourth stanza of a poem called For the Fallen. They shall not grow old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. As part of the service, a minute's silence is observed. It's a time for reflection, and to pause and remember those who were injured or killed at war. Before the minute silence, a tune called The Last Post is played on a bugle. Then at the end of the silence, the bugle plays a tune called Reveille. Now you may have learned in our Remembrance Day episode that the bugle is a musical instrument similar to a trumpet, and it has such an amazing sound. There are many stories of animals in war, 
but the most famous is the story of Simpson and his donkey. This is a story about a man named John Simpson Kirkpatrick who served for Australia in the First World War in Gallipoli as a stretcher bearer, which means he would carry the injured to the safety of medical treatment. But Simpson also used a donkey to transport wounded men from where they were fighting up the top down to the beach on Anzac Cove. Simpson worked day and night for three and a half weeks, often singing and whistling while he was working, until one day, sadly, he was killed. Simpson was a brave man who represented the Anzac spirit as well as anybody else, but his donkey's role was just as important. Now kids, this is a monument that's dedicated to Simpson and his donkey. And the story goes that Simpson used to use his amazing donkey here to carry wounded men down to the beach at Anzac Cove and then bring water up through Shrapnel Gully. So you can see just the size of these men compared to the size of this donkey. The donkey is actually quite small, but it's a strong animal and it played such an important role. You can see that he actually looks like he's really working hard. He's on a bit of a lean because he's supporting the weight of that wounded soldier up the top there. And you've got Simpson over here, walking next to the donkey, playing a really important role as well, supporting that wounded soldier, making sure he doesn't fall off. And together, Simpson and his donkey are doing such an incredible job taking this soldier where he needs to be. Now this is such uh, an incredible statue and it was designed so that it, it could be touched. And you can see that his nose there, it used to be quite rough, just like this area here, but it's been designed so that you can touch it. And over the years, through all the kids and, the, and, and adults touching the nose of the donkey, it's actually been rubbed smooth. So if you get a chance to come along to the War Memorial here, it's encouraged to touch the donkey. You can see another really cool thing is that the donkey and Simpson are both wearing that red cross. And another thing I just want to point out, kids, is this red poppy, which is the flower that is used to remember and commemorate the Anzacs. So there you go kids, so much to learn about Anzac Day today and so much to be proud about with the amazing job that our Anzacs did to provide Australia with the freedom that we have today. I hope it's inspired you to learn more about Anzac Day and maybe even join some grown-ups and get along to a dawn service to honour our Anzacs. Always be thankful kids and always remember them. We'll see you on our next video and until then, stay keen. If you haven't already, make sure you get a grown up to help you hit that subscribe button. That way you won't miss out on any of the new and exciting videos that we put out. Speaking of new and exciting, if there's a video that you'd love to see Aussie do, make sure you send us a message on our socials, on Facebook or Instagram at Aussie for Kids. We'll see you again soon kids, and until then, stay keen. Oh, and by the way, did you happen to find the hidden Aussie icon in that video? Yeah, make sure you look closely because they're in every single video. That's right. Stay keen, kids. Aussie, 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 oi. Aussie is a friend of yours, and he's a friend of.